Alright, well, I got a video request uh, from uh, iGaming, one of my subscribers, to uh, do a uh, fluorescent ballast and actually demonstrate how you uh, change it out. So, this video is for you, iGaming. I'm going to actually take this ballast out of this fixture and uh, show you how to replace it. Um, I may even go ahead and take a uh, T8 ballast which is a newer style out of one and uh, replace it because really when you're replacing one of these old uh, ballasts here, this is a T12 ballast it's a lot better to go with the T8 uh, you can't really see it but uh, the T8 bulbs are a lot skinnier than the T12s and they're a lot more efficient this is not an electronic ballast electronic ballast is a little bit small and I'll show you that in just a minute all right, here's some of the simple tools that you're going to need to do this job. Right here, as you've seen in other videos, is a uh, voltage tester, proximity tester, volt alert, uh, a pair of side cutters, clines, a pair of wire strippers, and a nut driver or socket, whichever you have. All right, once you've removed the cover, which is just simply a long straight piece of metal or however whatever kind of cover you may have on your ballast some are different but there'll be a little tab right here that you'll just twist 90 degrees to take it off and once you get that off then you will take your volt tester and put it to your hot wire of course as you can see this is just not even hooked up to nothing so obviously there's no voltage on it. So, now that we've done that, you can either undo these wire nuts here that are feeding your light fixture, which I'm going to go ahead and do because it's rather simple. And they're really not held on very well. And then take, and let's just say for demonstration purposes, that these were my hot wires coming out. I'm going to cap those with a wire nut. Just in case somebody turned the power back on. You're not going to accidentally touch them. So now I've recapped them. Okay. After you do that, you're simply just going to take and cut these wires close to the old ballast. I'm not going to do that because this is a good ballast. I'm going to cut them so I can reuse this ballast. And then you're going to cut your two yellow wires. After you've done that, you're going to take your nut driver or socket and unscrew the, uh, hold on, I'm trying to do two things at once there. I'm trying to hold this, you're going to unscrew that and this end it's just simply got a couple little tabs so just pull it all out now you've removed your ballast and you want to take and restrip hold on let me set this on the tripod here you're going to want to restrip these ends using the, I think this is a 16 gauge, might be smaller, whatever gauge fits. Okay. Give me a second here, I'm trying to do this by myself. Okay. Oh, that's going to show my camera. If it doesn't, I'll just delete it. But anyway. Your new and your old ends out. You always want to leave plenty of slack so you have enough to reach your new ballast. Okay, now that that's been done, we're going to go get a T8 ballast and show you. I think there is a little bit of difference in the color, and there may not. If you do replace it with T12 ballast, you want to make sure that you get the proper voltage, which in this case is 120 volts, and you want to get one that's rated for two lamps. 
and one that's for T12s. And even if you forget how to do this, there's a simple wiring diagram on it. As you can see here, there's two blue wires that go to one socket and two red wires that go to this socket. And on this end, which is called the common end, you have two yellow wires and then the two white wires just jump from one socket to the other. So, let's get us a T8 ballast and put it in. Okay, this is the fixture we're going to take to light the uh, ballast out. So we're going to start by removing these lamps. As you can see, these are T8s. I've already done replaced this one with one T8 ballast because it's all I had, and the other ballast was still good. And we'll take the T12s out and get them out of the way. As you can see, big difference. T12 is a lot fatter. Put them out. And on this fixture, this simply you just squeeze together thing to reveal the ballast. And as you can see right here, there's a T12 ballast. And that's a T8. And let's see here. It is a little bit different, so good. Alright. Simply taking this T8 ballast and push it back in the slots. And we'll put our nut back on. And the actual wiring is a little bit different on this one. The two blue wires on this one are going to take one and connect it to one red wire to one socket on this end. And then this one, you don't need it. So you can either cap, take it off out from the socket or cap it off. We'll just cap it off. And then you're going to take one blue and connect it to one blue on this end and cap it off. And then the common side is red on the T8. So we're going to connect it. We can connect it to these two or we can just connect it to one. It doesn't matter because they both go to the same terminals on here. So let's do that. Let me get some wire nuts and we'll hook it up. Alright, we've got our wire nuts now. And like I said, um, with this T8, you don't have to actually cap one of these off. You can actually just tie them all together. It doesn't matter. They just go to the same socket. So for this demonstration, we're just going to tie them all together. It's just easier than wasting more wire nuts. So we've got one blue wire coming off of our T8 ballast going to one socket and we've got another going to the other socket. Simply wiring up them together and we'll take and go to the other side here and take our red coming off our T8 ballast And also, when you do wire nut these together, when you put your wire nut on, you want to make sure that the ends, these are all evenly stripped out. The right, you know, if you want, if you got a half inch stripped out, you want a half inch stripped out on every wire. And make sure the ends are all even. And push them all up in your wire nut. And tighten them up. And I always check too. Give it a good tug. Make sure they're in there good. They don't come out. And then the last but not least, you're going to hook up your hot and your neutral, your black and your white wires. And that's pretty much it. Then you're done. Replace your lamps, cover, put them back together, and it's done. And if you were doing the T12 ballast, like this one, it should all be the same colors. So you're just going to hook it up wire for wire, color for color. Simple. Diagram is on the, on, on the ballast, so it makes it real easy not that hard of a thing to do. So, I game in. I hope this uh, helped you out a little bit. Give you a little more insight on how to do this. Thanks for watching.